for some time now, I asked you guys if you wanted to know how to ship your AliExpress goods straight to Jamaica without the custom fee. I want to say yes. So here is the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my video and today I'm doing this video from work. Yeah. So today this video is about how to ship your packages from AliExpress to Jamaica without paying any customs fee. Yeah, I got the plug. Maybe as a person to know about it, but you know, without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you hear that annoying sound in the background it's i work on a plant where they supply electricity so yeah anyways let's get into this so first of all you have to have a debit card or a visa card to purchase stuff on aliexpress not every vendor will um not every vendor ships to jamaica so you have to find the one that ships to jamaica and does free shipping because sometimes some some of the vendors they do ship to jamaica but the shipping price is like for 85 US, so you'll be buying something for probably five dollars and paying 85 85 US. Nobody's gonna do that, so eliminate those sellers. However, you have vendors that sell stuff for two dollars, and then the shipping price is like probably eight US. When you work it out and say, all right, if nobody buy this at Jamaica, you're gonna probably pay ten thousand dollar or five thousand dollar. Okay, another thing, you have to have patience. Some of these vendors, not some, most of the vendors shipping from Singapore, China, Tokyo, far out, far, far to come from. So shipping takes sometimes one month to two months, <laughs> or probably three months. So bear that in mind, you have to have patience. Another thing, sometimes. You have to know. You have other times you have to read the reviews because when you put in your Jamaican address and you see other Jamaicans that have already bought the product and saying, "Oh, I don't get the product," or they saying it's of bad quality, then don't buy that. Okay, no, say Jamaican now go all out and that Jamaican, honest when it comes to the tea and honest when it comes to the money. Even though I'm not sure if they probably ship it to an American address and then send it. To themselves to Jamaica you know them courier service there I'm not sure that's what they do you have some reviews that say they don't get the packages if they don't get it if they see a review that say they don't get the package don't buy it bad review I love bad review you know what that I bought several stuff for example phone case I bought a phone case on my phone I'm using the Note 10 plus I'm using a note 10 plus and that's the phone that I used to do my videos but so this is a case I got this case for 10 years and it's very very pretty I really love this case and the pop socket is from my business page so you can go and follow me on Instagram at 876 Gen Coin. yeah so we do these pop sockets and you can get it customized to however you want it so go and check them out Ooh. Focus, getting focus. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you girls love your wigs. So when it comes to wigs, wigs, some companies normally ship wigs, for example, two days to a week. So you in Jamaica will probably get that within two weeks or probably three weeks. And they have very affordable wigs. And if you broke the bank, you don't need to buy from me. Some of the Jewish companies that selling me for an arm and a leg, they can just buy a nice fit wig. I'll insert a picture of me in a wig that I bought on AliExpress. Very beautiful. I wore it all summer this year. Also, some uh, this is kind of jump bluffing, but I'm getting to the main point. Some of these companies, no, not some of these companies. When you join AliExpress, 
and you put it in put it in your address you put in your exact jamaican house address if um mailman come at your house then i probably they probably give you that piece of paper for you to go to the post office to collect your stuff also some of these companies will ship your packages through dhl but those are the companies that take a empty shipping rates no worry about that probably 200 dollars for year to go to the post office and come back that rather than having to pay 85 us which is can't work that out right now enough money a whole heap of money probably over ah probably enough enough money i'm not gonna work that out right now and shame myself Another thing you guys probably asking, what's the quantity of stuff that they can ship to Jamaica? I'm not sure. The most I spend was seventy dollars, seventy US. That's the most I've spent to get packages here in Jamaica. I've never spent more than that, and it's from different vendors. So you know, say it comes at different time in different packages, so. That wasn't something that I had to worry about. Bye guys and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you in my next update video.